Welcome back to the channel everybody, my name is Matthew and today we're talking about three ways you can apply a flat picture profile on your Canon DSLR. So diving into the camera, the first thing we're going to do is make sure we are in manual mode and then also make sure we turn this puppy on. So now that this is on and we're also in video mode. We can basically go here and there, or there's a Q button on the side. We'll just do this on the touch screen. So basically you're gonna hit the Q button and then go to where it says picture profile. It's the third one down from the right column. And normally it's set in auto mode, but we're gonna set this to neutral for, for a flat picture profile. And then my settings for the neutral, what I have right now is uh, sharpness all the way down to zero, contrast all the way to the left. Um, I left saturation the same and then color tone is going to be one to the right. This will work for the most part and it'll allow you to apply some LUTs and good color grades onto your footage. And if you stick around I can show you two other ways you can do. One is a free method and the other one you have to pay for but it'll greatly improve the color and look of your footage. So the second method is installing CineStyle for, by Technicolor. This is a free installation and download. All you need to do is go to the link. So the first thing we're gonna do is open Safari, type in Technicolor CineStyle, and there it is, second one. Go here, and then it'll be uh, CineStyle download Technicolor. All right, so once we've loaded the page, we can basically go through here. Basically, it kind of shows you the settings here anyways that are gonna be uh, following recommended settings and all those questions and answer. So what you're gonna do is fill in your information here and then send it, they will send you an email and send you a download link. Another thing you're gonna need to download is uh, Canon EOS Utility. So we'll go to Canon EOS Utility. Uh, 60 Mark II. So we're going to go to support. And now we're on the Canon website. We'll go to drivers and downloads. And then EOS utility for Mac. It's right here. I'm using Mac, so that's what I use. Download that. Once you've downloaded EOS utility and CineStyle, you can plug in your camera, turn it on. So EOS Utility should have automatically opened when you plugged in your camera, but if it didn't, then you can always just go and open it. And what you wanna do is go to uh, Remote Shooting. And so here it is, it shows all your settings and whatnot, and there's a picture profile here. And then um, what you wanna do is go to User Default, and then make sure you're in photo mode. This is a very crucial thing. Basically when you're in video mode, that registered user defined style goes away. So make sure you're in photo mode so you can adjust this. So what you're gonna do basically is go in here. Currently I have a C log neutral by James Miller loaded in for user one. User two is just C log neutral two and I have C-Log version three of James Miller in user default three. But if you wanted to load in the cine style, you can, you just go to whatever user default you want to set under and then go to this little bin, search for it. These are all the C-Log profiles, but you just click on, um, click on the file for cine style, uh, double click it and it'll load right in there. So that's pretty simple. And just when you're done with that, hit okay. 
and it'll be loaded into your camera and basically you can just exit out of this and unplug your camera and you're good to go. So James Miller has been doing something remarkable here with his flat picture profiles for Canon DSLRs. This is going to be another option for you guys that want a little bit more uh, flat picture profile. It looks super good by the pictures and I've tested it out and it's currently 30% off now and um, I currently love using the C-Log 3 and I've also messed around with uh, the C-Log Neutral uh, version 1 and version 2 which I have loaded in my camera. I have all three picture profiles, uh, custom user profiles filled up with uh, James Miller at this time before I was shooting on CineStyle but I figured I'd give this a try because it was something new and something different that I could learn about. Um, follow the same steps and it's pretty simple so so guys that's the end of the video and it's super easy and you shouldn't get discouraged by adding flat picture profiles uh, I might get into another video on color grading these flat picture profiles but I hope you enjoyed the examples and I hope the tutorial was pretty self-explanatory it's really easy and nothing to stress over so if you have any questions Leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.